Hello everyone. Today we'd like to give you an introduction to the middle way meditation. According to a Google search engine, if you try Google the term meditation, it come up many million sites about meditation. And why we pick up this techniques of meditation to share with you today is called the middle way meditation. Because this technique was discovered by the Lord Buddha. Uh, professor Daniel Goleman, he's a Harvard professor on psychology. He used to write a book called A Meditative Mind, which collects all the meditation techniques in the world. Actually, he flew to India to practice meditation. And he writes in the early chapter in the book that Buddha is the greatest teacher of meditation because Buddha has ability to know the mind of the meditators. And that's a very good uh, compliment from a Harvard professor. This technique of meditation is from the Buddha, one of the greatest master of meditation. This technique focuses on the middle way, which many years after the Buddha passing, there's no one actually understand the deep meaning of the term the middle way is what written in the Holy Scripture, Buddhist Scripture, that the Buddha became enlightened through the middle way. But what exactly the middle way means? This monk, his name is Luang Pu Wat Bak Nam. He is a senior monk in Thailand, passed away a long time ago. In 1917, more than 100 years ago, Luang Pu Wat Bak Nam, he rediscovered the middle way meditation. Because he's so curious as a monk, when he became a monk at 22 years old, that what actually happened under the Bodhi tree when Buddha or Prince Tata became enlightened. So he practiced, he learned from many well-known masters of meditation in Thailand in that time, and that, until he found out that the middle way, it actually means this spot. It's called center of the body. This is the deep meaning of the middle way. It's not only not work too hard, not, not play too much, or live a balanced life. It's actually when Prince Tata or the Buddha sat for meditation, he keep his consciousness or awareness at this spot of the center. It's around two finger width above the navel. And as I share with you, you don't need to believe what I said. If you try, uh, different techniques before, different focus in the body or outside. You can experiment and let's see why this spot, center of the body, is so important to attain enlightenment. It works like what? This spot of center of the body, it works like a focal point of the lens. You might try before when you study when you were young. The papers, the lens, and the sun. When you move the lens to the focal point, what happened? The light from the sun become like small dot on the paper, right? And then it burned the paper. The paper was burned. If it's not at the focal point, it's warm on the paper, but it's not burned. Once the light become concentrated through the lens, it burned the paper. This center of the body it's like a focal point of consciousness. When you touch the center, gently, softly, you can go to a very deep state of meditation. If you wish for peace, you can reach that peace of mind. If you wish for enlightenment, you can go deeper and deeper and find enlightenment through this spot of the center. So this technique of meditation, the middle way meditation is very original and very profound. However, it is very simple technique that anyone can meditate. It's profound but simple. Like in the slide I show you, the little boys in New Jersey can meditate. That Russian girl from Moscow, the teenager also can meditate. And that senior guy from New York, he works as a nuclear specialist. He also can meditate because this technique is so simple that everyone can benefit from it. So we'd like to share with you these two basic concepts. 
of simplicity of the middle way meditation. Number one is relaxation. Number two is mindfulness. So for meditation today, I will help guiding you for body relaxation and mind relaxation. Like relax your whole body first and let your mind feel relaxed. Body relaxation is very important to start your practice. Imagine you work the whole day and you drive the car back from your office to home. How you feel? You feel tired. You feel uncomfortable with your body, right? And then you lay yourself back on the soft sofa at home. How you feel? Your body feel more relaxed. Your mind become more relaxed too. So we use some body relaxation scanning throughout the body at the beginning to get that relaxed and gentle feeling. Then we let the mind be free from our worry, from our concern. I will guide you today. After you get a good relaxation feeling, then that three tools of mindfulness you can use to grow your meditation. Imagine this, that good relaxation is like a good soil with nutrient, with good uh, quality of the soil. Then you put the seed of mindfulness into the soil. Then the flower of peace, the flower of happiness will blossom from that nutrient soil. You get the idea, right? We need both relaxation and mindfulness to achieve peace of mind. Three tools of meditation. Number one, send up the body. Number two, visualization. And number three, the mantra. I will go back to this thing one by one shortly. Let's take a look on this analogy first. This glass of the water will help you a lot. If you get the idea, meditation today will be very easy for you. So let's take a look. Imagine this glass of the water like your mind when you were young. When you have this glass of the water clear and bright, you bring the rose and look to the glass. You can touch the beauty of the rose quite easily. So when you were young, happiness is not complicated at all. You imagine, right? Like a children, when they have ice cream, they smile, when they lost it, they cry. Then, Mama, bring new toy. He stopped crying and then he smiled again. Happiness is very instant. Just sunshine, just play with a dog, it's already happy. But once we grow older, we go to school, we go to competition in work, start family, start business, you start to add many colors into the glass. Red one, when you get angry. Blue one, when you feel sad. Green one, when someone makes you feel upset. The same glass, you bring the rose again. The same glass, but now it's not the same because there are many colors inside. The beauty is still there, but something inside is not right. It blocks you to feel happy. This is the world we are experiencing. Many material progress, but spiritually it's not clean. It's not clear to receive happiness. So there are many people who are rich, who are successful, but they not feel happy inside. They get angry easily. They feel negative easily because it's not clear inside. When we meditate, we do sit simple practice, but very important, we let the glass down and let everything sink down to the bottom. Simple, right? Sit, relax and let everything sink down to the bottom. It's that easy. It's that simple. We are complicated for a long time in life. So we need to go back to that simplicity. Sit, relax, let everything sink down to the bottom and do nothing. That's the most easy, simple way to do meditation. However, if you meditate new today or you meditate for some time, this might happen to you, that the monk will guide you, relax, easy, letting go, and then, oh, my meeting on Monday. Oh, my husband asked me to do this. Oh, my children want that. It might happen. It's, it's common. The Buddha called the mind, monkey mind. The mind keeps jumping to different things like a monkey. However, we have a simple technique to overcome this wandering thought. You imagine 
you lie down, relax on the beach. You remember that easy feeling, relax, gentle, and then the bird fly over your head. You remember that feeling, relax, the bird fly. Normally, we don't talk to the bird, right? Do you talk to the bird? <laughs> Normally, we don't talk to the bird. We enjoy the beach time, right? Relax with the wind from the ocean and the bird fly. So we all have this skill. I didn't teach you new thing today. You achieved this before. Anything come in while you're relaxing, you can let it go. You do the same skill that you have already today. When I guide you, when on the monk guide you meditate, some thought come. Let the bird fly, like a flying bird. Do not talk to the bird. Just let them fly away and maintain your good feeling. Lying, lying down on the beach. So for most people who uh, can let go easily, why the, you letting go and you feel like the bird become less and less, that's very good. But if anyone have a lot of thinking, think a lot, perfectionist, everything, that's a detail. Uh, I call this Ferrari mind. <laughs> that is faster than the monkey. It's super fast. You let go one bird, ten bird come. You let go ten bird, hundreds bird come. How are we gonna fix this? Long Wat Pak Nam, he gave this tool. It's called visualization. That's why you are meditating and then a lot of thought come and you not feel easily letting go. You let something bright shining, like the sun, the moon, the star, pop up in your stomach. It feel like you swallow that bright image into your stomach. You don't use your eyes at all. Just a feeling of something bright inside your stomach. And you can let the sounds of the mantra rise from the inside. We use the mantra Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma mean purity Arahang mean freedom so we purify our mind to be free from our negativities. That's the meaning. Or you can use the term clear and bright. Clear and bright. You let the sound rise from the center. You don't need to chant it. You just feel it like when you have an earplug and your ears and then you move the earplug into your stomach and let the peace song Samarahang, Samarahang, rising like a river flow inside. I'm going to summarize now the simple techniques of the middle way meditation. Step one, relax your body. Step two, keep your awareness at the center of the body. And step three, do nothing. But if you have any thought come in, pop up something bright and use the mantra to keep yourself calm. I hope it's simple enough for you. Sit, relax at the center, and do nothing. <laughs> uh, just a little technique before we start about the hands that you can uh, do this standard position if you can, but if you not feel comfortable, you can try other position. Right leg over left leg, and right hand over left hand with the right index finger touching the left thumb. Loosely, let your hand down on your laps, comfortably. And this is the balanced position. We call this enlightenment position. If you're ready, if you feel comfortable, please find your easy corner. Then we can start meditation, the middle way meditation together now. <laughs> 